A city is saying goodbye to a man who helped change athletics in our part of the country and also brought new opportunities for the generations to come. Now his family sits down with News Channel 5's Forrest Sanders to talk about the pride they feel for his lasting legacy. Uh, 1961. 61. Is that the championship? Yeah, that's the championship. Because yeah. the trophy's right there in front of Mr. Elliott. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A picture sits in a living room of a team from Burt High School at one time, an all-black school in Clarksville. There was complete segregation during that time. There were places you couldn't go. There were places that you couldn't be seen. The man in the back row is L.M. Ellis, who lived by a mantra this room yeah, knows well. Phil is not an option. The people in here know Ellis as a husband, as a father, as a father-in-law, as a grandfather but a community knows him as a part of their history. He is and was and forever will be the first African-American scholastic college athlete at Austin P, and also in the Ohio Valley Conference. The court where Ellis played still stands on Austin P's campus. Wife Mary says her husband knew the importance of playing on this court at a time of a changing America. That made me feel very proud of him that he was the first black man to to open doors. And I always knew what he had done at Austin yeah. Peay, but he was my dad. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's right. Yeah. He was my right. dad. Right. In fact, Ellis knew another trailblazer as a close friend since childhood of sprinter, sports icon, and Olympic champion, Wilma Rudolph. Today, Ellis's jersey hangs over a gym that shows how far athletics here have come. His face is part of the school's athletic hall of fame. Just days after Ellis's death, the family so appreciates all the ways he's still remembered. It really opened my eyes up to see the mark that he had left. He was a part of this community. He was a part of Austin P. He was a part of anything and everything to bring this community in this area up. My husband was the man, the legend of man, L.M. Ellis. I'm Forrest Sanders, News Channel 5. Lasting legacy sure indeed. Sure is.